I'm J.G. Cooper, I'm the head of the Americas here at the British Museum, and welcome to my corner. In the middle of the 19th century, Alfred Maudsley was an extraordinary explorer. At the age of 22, he quit his life as a colonial official, and then dedicated the rest of his life to exploring the jungles of what is now Guatemala, Honduras and Mexico. What was unusual about Alfred Maudsley was that he was obsessed with the captured image. He took tons of equipment on mule trains through the jungle and developed the first glass plate photographs of many of the very famous sites that we know today. Ancient Maya sites like Tikal, Palenque, Yashilan and Kirigua. He also physically wrapped up giant monuments in plaster and created huge plaster casts, some of these standing 33 feet high in size. He would then chop up these plaster casts into sections. So we have one stella, Stella E from Kirigua, which is 33 feet high and is taken into 31 casts. What's important is that Maudsley's casts from the 1880s represent the best preserved image of this monument because the actual monument is snapped in half in the 1920s by some errant archaeologists. He sent back by sea crate boxes of glass plates, of which we have more than 800, and more than 400 plaster casts that we have in the stores of the British Museum. For 130 years, these glass plate photographs and fragile casts have remained in the stores, relatively unseen. Because Maudsley was a pioneer in using the technology of his time to capture image, we made a pitch to Google, who are currently the pioneers of new digital technology. And so using their equipment, we have digitised both the objects in the British Museum and also the landscapes in Guatemala, and created a whole series of experiences where people can go on journeys to the ancient Maya sites, travelling through time using the historical photography. We took 360 panoramic imagery using street view capture of all of the archaeological sites in Guatemala. And then we could place the old photographs exactly where Maudsley stood in the 1880s back into those landscapes. The ancient Maya had some of the most complex and sophisticated cities of their time. Sprawling through the subtropical forests of Central America, these large cities had huge pyramid complexes and spread out residential areas. What I particularly like about the ancient Maya is that they provide a different example of how to live an urban lifestyle. Many of the ideas that are popular today, like guerrilla gardening, green cities, careful water management, thinking about how waste is recycled, these are ideas all developed very successfully by the ancient Maya thousands of years ago. How we live with our landscape is a fundamental question for our species. And the ancient Maya developed a really interesting way of living with their ecology. They saw humanity as directly linked with the environment around them. And that concept of ecology, of relationships between people and environment, is something we can learn a lot from the Maya. What I love about this project is that it allows us to access parts of the collection that are not normally on display. The use of image today, in collaboration with Google Arts and Culture, can provide a platform in which people can experience not only the objects, but resituate them in their landscape. For me, that's quite a transformative thing for the British Museum, to think about objects within landscape, their original landscape. So often at the British Museum, we see objects in, in a building from the 1860s. And so thinking about context and how these objects might have been originally seen is a very interesting idea. In many ways, these sort of glass plates and plaster casts uh, are objects in their own right. We've registered them as British Museum objects, and they capture not only the image of the original, but their own legacy, their own biography of a story that is Alfred Maudsley's work. If you'd like more information about the project, then click on the link below. There's another great Curator's Corner video if you click here, and lots more content if you subscribe.